Thank you. With federal officials admitting the vaccine rollout has been far slower than promised and Dr. Anthony Fauci joining the chorus of criticism, many Americans spent their New Year's Eve waiting in hours long lines to get vaccinated. NBC's Kerry Sanders has that part of the story. In Florida, those 65 and older and healthcare workers exasperated by the vaccine rollout here. Those who are eligible for the first round of shots waiting up to eight hours in first come, first serve lines. I blame our whole government. I mean, I totally blame our government that this is that this is not what it should be. I do not expect to be sitting here since 3.45 this morning. In Florida, one in five of this state's 21 million residents is 65 or older. The demand for vaccines overwhelming. Officials in Fort Myers today defending their plan of first come, first served. Could it be more efficient? You betcha. We, we're the first to admit that. It gets better every day, and it's going to be better next week than it was this week. Taking appointments with its own set of problems. In Fort Lauderdale, when Broward Health announced anyone 65 or older could get a shot, the phone lines crashed. The problem? Nationwide. In Tennessee today, a miles-long traffic jam for people waiting for a vaccine. State officials blame the federal government. Operation Warp Speed passed responsibility of administering the vaccine to state and local health departments, which are underfunded and, for the last nine months, have been focused on getting people tested for the virus. The former commissioner of health in New Jersey. If we're not able to get through that first phase as fast as possible, that's going to push the whole chain uh, down in terms of time. And as we're seeing, every day means lives, thousands of lives. And in Wisconsin, a pharmacist fired and arrested tonight after allegations of intentionally contaminating 500 doses of the vaccine by taking the vials out of a refrigerator. Tonight in Florida, a member of the state cabinet is calling on the governor to call in the National Guard to take over vaccine distribution to fix the chaos. So far, no indication that will happen. Peter?